Discover the brilliant mind shaping the future of global health. Join me as we illuminate the innovative work of the next generation of scientists. I'm Dr. Netta Pastram, Deborah, your host. Welcome to Research Spotlight. My name is Senna. Um, I'm a clinical microbiologist and I'm also a research assistant with the Global Health and Infectious Diseases Research Group at KCCI. I'm intrigued by microorganisms. I like the fact that you cannot see them but their impact can be felt and seen in society. And so in further my education, um, one of my lecturers who is an expert in antimicrobial resistance, he inspired me to uh, pursue this area of research. After reading a couple of papers, I was really interested. I realized how versatile these organisms are. My research was on antibiotic resistance. Imagine your, your loved one, your mother, has been infected with a bacteria, a severe bacteria infection, and she has been admitted to the intensive care unit. Um, the doctors are doing all they can. They've, they've given her all kinds of treatments, and there's this last line of drug that she has to take. But after taking the drug, does not work because um, these microorganisms have developed ways to survive even after being exposed to these antibiotics. So my research was looking at um, in a population the number of bacteria that have this um, ability to um, survive even after being exposed to this last line drug called carbapenem. One of the tests I performed to see if the bacteria had the ability to survive after being exposed to the drug is called the modified Hodge test. In this test, you would see that the organism um, has a clover leaf-like indentation. And this shows that truly this particular bacteria is resistant to the drug. If you take a, a population of bacteria, one out of ten is capable of being resistant to a last line drug that is used to treat severe bacterial infections. So I'm hoping my research will educate the public on antibiotic resistance and what we can do together to minimize um, the effects of it that we are seeing in our healthcare. I would like to tell my fellow researchers that in our journey towards success, no matter how driven you are, how motivated you are, you need people on the journey rooting for you. And one of the biggest things I encountered in my journey was support. So I would advise us to be open to asking for help and be open to receiving help from others. We cannot do it all by ourselves. This is Senam Ahachi and her research journey is only beginning.